Hello there, Insomaniacs, and welcome back for more Pokemon Diamond Nuzlocke with Conus Board. Today we're gonna take on the rest of the trainers in the Seven Star Restaurant. At least that's what I think it's called. Nah, it's just called Restaurant, whatever. So basically, there are actually normally nine trainers in the restaurant, but the thing is, every day a random five will respawn. So I just got lucky. I got. Let's see which of the lucky five that are gonna be broadcast on Insomania Game. Wow, this food looks really fancy. Papa's a raw and cook so he can go out and eat good food like this. Do you come to this restaurant to battle Pokemon? Okay, so let's take on the remaining three since I actually am in a better mood this episode. Okay, it's- Oh, veteran. Veteran trainers are actually real dicks to fight against in uh, Gen 5, the Unova games. But since this isn't Gen 5, <laughs> I think I'm gonna wreck him. Well, he really isn't too bad. To say the least, he really isn't. Okay, let's annihilate these trainers because they're starting to annoy me. Why is it the Beedoops always tank? Oh well. The Metrop better not tank. That's what I'm. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Oh boy, Seismic Toss. That may actually suck because Seismic Toss does the same amount of damage as your level. Oh, poor, pathetic Beedoof. Just use the defense curl. Okay, let me make a drain of Beedoof and let's storm the. No, let's ember the Machop. Okay, there we go. That way I can get the most HP back. M most of my HP back. Yeah, in case you haven't ca you couldn't tell, most of the battles in the seven star restaurants are du actually all of them are double battles, so you better be prepared. Okay, that's what I like to see. Massive HP drain. <laughs> okay, what other Pokemon do they have to send out? Bronzor! Okay, good thing I have Lombax then. Uh, what's your other one, Lassie? Beedoof. Okay, that's it. I'm switching. This isn't worth my power points. This isn't worth a magical leaf. It really isn't. Let's Ember the Bronzor. Because the... I'm uh, not wrong, it should have levitated. In fact, most of the Bronzors, if not all of them, owned by... Bronzors and Bronzongs owned by uh, enemy trainers, they almost all of them have levitate. I'm almost certain of that. Extra sensory, <laughs> like that would do anything. See, <laughs> you don't learn, do you? Hyper Fang, okay, that may actually hurt. Okay, you are starting to annoy me. Well, what can I say? They are actually quite annoying, these trainers, but that's why they are such good experience. I mean, they give a lot of experience, like, if you come here every day and battle, your Pokemon will go a lot of levels before you even hit the 5th gym. Which is good, because the 5th gym leader is a huge difficulty spike in this game. Alright. Come on, come on! <laughs> I like that animation, I really do. It's a really cool looking animation. Oh, Hyper Fang again! At least you use it on the one that's like super resistant to it, so yeah. Okay, Lombax use Ember! Bye bye, Beedoof! It even rhymes. <laughs> okay, what do we get for all of that? At least something decent? Veteran, Emerald, and Les Bloody. Mm, dumb names. Tough, aren't you? I was with my daddy too. Oh, so he's the bad cook. <laughs> I've never eaten anything like this before. Let's get over the sting of this loss by enjoying this delicious meal. So your daddy's the bad cook and you're bad mouthing him in front of everyone. Well, that, isn't that a little mean lady? No, really? Oh, oh that's so neat. How can you tell those things? My boyfriend could tell that deep down I'm actually a frightened and lonely child. I don't think I can ever lose with him. Wanna try? Well, sorry lady, but you're gonna lose to me. <laughs> Your boyfriend friend can't predict the future. You're challenged by P.I. Kendrick and Beauty Gabriel. Or Gabriela. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, Finoon! That's actually one of those gimmick mons. It actually looks kinda cool, but uh... Yeah. It is still a gimmick mon. Okay, since they're all water types, they're all kinda dead. Poor, poor predictable trainers. I'm gonna Mega Drain the Goldeen and I'm going to Spark the Finoon. 
Bye bye. It really shouldn't survive. It really shouldn't. Well, well, well. Poor predictable trainers. I'm sweeping you all. Yeah, but these trainers are actually quite challenging. They do give reasonable experience to you. And besides that, I only show off like 5 of the 9 because these are the 5 that decided to show up today. A different... It's always a random 5. I mean like, today one guy might show up. Maybe tomorrow he may show up again, but maybe it might be some other guy. You never know. Alright, what other mons do you have? Okay, let's see. Alright, P.I. Kendrick sent out another freaking Godeen. Oh, this isn't worth my time, but I'm gonna Magical Leaf anyway because it's an epic move. And I'm gonna switch out and let Tajiu gain some experience, otherwise he'll never gain any experience. Hello, Primblood. I love this animation, I really do. And that's it for trainer number 2. Or technically number 4 since I did 2 trainers last episode. Yeah. That's a load of experience points. My luck's run out. <laughs> His luck's run out. You're a lucky one. Yeah, right. I'm not lucky in real life. It's amazing you predicted you would lose. I had a bad feeling about this trainer. Yep, you, of course, you have a bad feeling about me. Because I'm going to be the trainer that's gonna become the Pokemon League champion. Normally, if I say this in any Pokemon game, it'll be a guarantee, but this is a Nuzlocke, so yeah. Interesting, these whole day over years are fascinating. Plant fiber 20%, iron 5%, protein 35%, curious and curiouser. What is it now? You want me to analyze your skill level? Uh, this guy's gonna be a psychic type trainer, isn't he? Alright, if he's gonna be a psychic type trainer, I'm gonna put my dark type user in front. Blah blah blah. I might as well talk to you. Oh dear, must you go on that way? It takes the magic out of a meal. I wish you wouldn't think about your research while we're out eating. My husband never ceases to amaze me with his dedication to research. Would you care to have a battle with us? Okay, fine. I put like my two most resistant psychic types. I mean, most resistant to psychic type people here, but... Oh boy, just one psychic type. I guess I predicted wrongly. <laughs> oh wow, I predicted wrongly big time. Oh, this may suck a little bit. Yeah, this is not good. In case you can't tell, uh, when White Lion evolves into Luxray, she gains a huge increase in attack power. In case you really can't tell. Oh boy, this may suck. I'm in a bad spot right now. Okay, let's bite the Kadabra. And let's switch out Growlithe because I don't think Growlithe can do anything to that Dark type. For Kadabra's use Kinesis. Oh, nice animation. It's, it looks like. Yeah, it's a really nice animation that move. But all it does is lower your accuracy. Just great. That doesn't deserve such a cool animation. Alright, I've done my job. Time to switch out to someone else. Both Kadabras fainted. Gorillas gained 237 experience for White, White Lion. Get wow, now White Lion's the highest level. Okay, I better switch her out. Oh boy. Both Stunky used Fury Swipes. That did a pathetic amount of damage, not even going to lie. I wonder how much damage that did. Wow, 2 HP per strike. Okay, and then I'm going to switch you out for Lombax. Gain some more experience points. Yeah, that's always nice. Switching around, gaining more experience points. I get that the experience shares for stuff like this, but... Uh... I don't know why. I never got used to using the thing. Uh... Why is it that Pokemon must always live? Toxic. This is one of the most annoying moves in the whole Pokemon. Toxic is pretty much a guarantee you will faint in 8 hit move because... The poison gets worse and worse and worse. So please, use a Petra Berry or a uh, Antigodote. Uh, I got 91 of them. I should grow even more, man. I don't know why I'm really paranoid about this sort of stuff. Alright, Lombex, you... Let's just use Tackle. I'm, I would never use Tackle otherwise. Alright. Bye-bye, Stunky. Okay, what else? Who else do we have? 
Oh, that's a lot of splitting experience. Weasel! Hmm. Weasel, eh? Alright, I'm just gonna free switch. Get more experience points. <laughs> because the Weasel really is kind of done anyway. So, Jiu, come back! Go, Ryoko! Like, seriously, one grass type move and the thing is gone! Oh, Aqua Jet, that me suck. Aqua Jet is a increased priority move. And it was a crit too, of course. So the thing about Aqua Jet is that, um... Is that it's like basically a water type quick attack. It is annoying. Wow, these trainers are taking a long time to feign. Like seriously, just three of these trainers wasted 10, of my, 10 minutes of my video. I get that this playthrough will be shorter if I don't show stuff like this, but... Hey, I want to show stuff like this. If they have a restaurant where you battle people, why the heck not show it? Shine this Emelo, that's, that's a nice name. Uh, I failed to foresee this outcome. You know, I had confidence before heading into this. Well, I feel bad for ya. If you were to ask me, I'd rather not know about what I don't understand. It's simpler that way. I feel compelled to analyze that is unknown to me. By defining its composition, I feel reassured in my knowledge. At our restaurant, you can enjoy more than just exquisite dining. You may also partake in beds with those. Bon appetit! It would have helped if you have told me this before I got into a ton of fights. Alright, let's explore the rest of this place. What am I to do? I've gone and dropped my suit key somewhere again. The hotel people won't be happy with me. I'm sure I had it when I left the reception counter earlier. I don't know about her. Stop you! Yes you! Sunny Shore City, which is down this road, had a major blackout. Crews are working on restoring power, but the road's closed now. Another roadblock, seriously. Is there anything else this way? Really? I think that's it. Yeah, that's it for Lake Velour. I mean, Velour Lake from. We haven't actually reached the lake yet. Well, then, that means we're going to head back to Solacion Town because now we have the potion that Cynthia gave us. We can cure those Psyduxes' headaches. Isn't that awesome? And so, yeah, that's basically it. If you enjoyed this episode of more battling, do feel free to leave a like or be an anti bonafide fighter and check out my channel. Do subscribe to Insomania Game to keep up with the Insomania, and next time we're gonna get rid of those side axes and carry on through Route 210. I just realized I have to withdraw handy. I'll do that next episode. I'm sure I'll remember. Watch me forget. <laughs>